Okay, second grade. So we are going to be reading the Boy Who Cried Wolf story today. It's actually a fable, an Aesop's fable. And our focus is going to be on recounting stories, including fables, and determining their lesson. So when you recount a story, you tell or describe the story to people. And a fable is a story that teaches a lesson. So we'll be looking for what the lesson is in the story. And a lesson is um, you use a lesson to refer to an experience which acts as a warning to you or an example from which you should learn. So we're going to look at this character and decide what we should learn based on what this character experienced and let it be a warning to us about what not to do. The strategy that we're going to use today is called we can learn and give advice based on how characters treat each other. And so what we're going to do is we're going to notice how the characters treat each other in the text. And we're going to especially look for spots where the character's behavior is surprising to us. And we're going to think about what would we tell the character to do? And we're going to give advice and we're going to say, you should do X, Y, Z. The advice you give can be a lesson you take away from the story. We'll decide that at the very end. What is a fable? A fable is a story that teaches a lesson. In some fables, animals may talk and act the way people do. A Greek slave named Aesop created some of the world's favorite fables. Aesop's fables have been enjoyed by readers for more than 2,000 years. Once upon a time, there was a young shepherd boy. Every morning, the boy took his father's sheep to graze on a mountain pasture outside the village. All day, he stayed in the lonely pasture with the sheep. Wow, the character is surprising me here because I don't see any wolf, so I don't know why he is saying this. Let me read on. The kind villagers left their work and came running to chase the wolf away. But it was a trick. The sheep were grazing peacefully. There was no wolf. Did you notice how the boy is treating the villagers? What would you tell the boy? The boy laughed. How easily he had fooled them. Some advice I might give the boy is to stop wasting the villagers' time with his tricks. They probably have things to do. The boy played the same trick again and again. Each time the villagers came running. Each time there was no wolf. Is the boy surprising you? Why or why not? One day, wolves really did attack the boy's sheep. The frightened boy ran to the village and screamed, Help! Wolves are attacking my sheep! But no one listened to the boy. No one came to help. The villagers didn't believe the boy and the wolves ate his sheep. Now I notice how the villagers are treating the boy. They are ignoring him because of his behavior earlier in the text. Because the boy had lied so many times, nobody believed him, even when he was telling the truth. What would you tell the boy? Say the advice you would give him. Then, based on that advice, what might you learn from this story?
Notebook time. You are going to write at least three sentences to recount what happened at the beginning, middle, and end of The Boy Who Cried Wolf. In your journal, you'll write a sentence about the lesson you can learn from this fable. Write another sentence to tell how you could apply this lesson to your life. So I gave you some sentence starters to help you. You could write in the beginning and tell what happened. Then you could write in the middle and tell what happened. And then you could write at the end and tell what happened. Then you could write a lesson I learned from this fable is, and I will try this when I, when will you try this in your life? The advice that you give, the lesson that you learn.